Okay, so I've been doing kayak diving. As, uh, a, a pair, uh, only one pair in the UK does it. It's me and my friend Becca. And it's probably the best way of uh, diving, scuba diving out at sea. Uh, it was at first invented in California about 20 years ago, but no one does it in the UK at all because everyone does it off of these big power boats, which are rather expensive. You need to get a team of about 10 people to run them. You need Land Rovers to drive them, petrol, engines. They're always going wrong and so forth. Um, and also, what's e o uh, also quite hard is they're very difficult to launch. You need uh, big cars and lots of people and, and stuff. And with a kayak dive, all you have to do is you have to just load up your stuff on the back and drag it off the edge. And we don't even need to go off of a slip like uh, these boats do. We can go off any shore, such as uh, out here on the shore of uh, Loch Fine, where we were after going to those two, two little islands off the, off the coast. And rather than starting eight miles down the, down the uh, river to go off a slip, we could just go straight off the beach with a bit of a carry. And uh, in that case, the dive wasn't very good. But on the way around, you often get to visit places that the power boats could never go, such as caves and arches and stuff things that would totally snarl up a propeller in, in any possible way. So you're getting two sports at once. Um, this is a, 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 a little visiting place we, we've been to. This is on the Great Orm, which is only about 40 miles away from here. Very few people know about it. And with a with kayak dive, there's no diving around here really, but because uh, it's all a bit murky, we, you can dive on the pier in Clandudno. Now, uh, the first part, once you're out at sea, the, then you have to go and find the site. Uh, with um, uh, GPS is extremely good. There's also, uh, I have a sonar where I can detect when the wreck is below me. Usually, usually it's a, a couple of meters higher. And then you have to anchor up, which is one of these things. That's my actual anchor. Holds the canoe quite well. And you also have to put the flag up because nothing collects, uh, collects the attention of a jet ski than uh, a couple of abandoned kayaks on the surface. Now, after that, uh, getting a kit on is, is also quite easy. You just throw it in in the water and then jump in afterwards and put it on. Um, and then uh, some, this can be even done in quite difficult currents on the, on the coastline. And after that, you go straight down. This is an unusually clear water for the UK. Normally, it's about three meters. But nice, nice here, you can actually see what's going on on the surface. Uh, and then you go on for a nice, usually rather short dive because there's no one on the surface at all. You never know what's going on. Um, and we also learned within about the first year never to let go of the anchor when diving because if you come up uh, 300 mi meters away, there's no boat to come and collect you. And so we now carry the anchor around. It's a, a new technique. And uh, this was probably our first kayak dive on the wreck of the Missouri um, before we learned about the anchor trick. And <laughs> it's, 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 it's off the coast of Anglesey. There's, there's many, many of these wrecks that are just a little too far to swim to. Um, there's a couple more things from uh, around the coast. Uh, starfish, I photograph them a lot because they don't run away. Um, this is a spider crab, and that's a, a very uncommon sight, which is sea spider, because they're almost invisible unless they happen to stand on something white. Now, when you come back out of your nice short dive, uh, you have the one problem that everyone thinks they're gonna encounter, which is getting back on the kayak. Uh, it's the easiest thing ever because um, the boats have this narrow hole and then extremely wide at the top so that they don't actually tip over you simply climb up on the side. And also with uh, uh, a set of fins, it can just give you a little bit of a push and problem's over in about three seconds, you're on top. Um, so no problem at all. Then afterwards, you have to uh, retrieve your anchor. Usually when you do that, then everything starts going haywire because the wind starts blowing you towards the coast and the rocks and stuff. You get a big tangle. Usually all the, uh, all the, all the anchors just got thrown onto my boat and then we paddle away in some way. And if I don't pack up too quickly, then I can get a free ride home. And anyway, so after, after getting home, uh, we sometimes just go for a, a quick journey. So there's a photo of my, probably my best uh, ever day of kayaking where we did a nice dive on the runnel stone and then had a little trip around Land's End and luckily left the bike at the, uh, at the other end for a retrieve, which was quite nice. And you wonder after doing this, why no one else does it? And my theory is that about eight years ago, these things were advertised all over, the, uh, all over the press and the internet, and loads of people bought them and then realized that they couldn't take them out to sea without blowing away. It, they'd feel terribly unsafe, and so no one ever went kayak diving except us two. Now, uh, kayak fishing is very popular because they didn't fall for this, because they have fish hooks that would obviously burst that sort of thing. So if this has worked, while well, me and my, my friend are still alone doing our one uh, sport together.